I've said this many times and I love to repeat it. The richest of the people are those who don't have proper educational qualifications. Go check. Go and check. Go look and study globally as well as locally. Your area here, Rivoli, beautiful area, lovely. The hearts are warm. You can feel the warmth when you enter the masjid as the brothers and sisters are greeting you outside. And there is a warmth of, mashallah, that is wealth. That is the wealth. What is your wealth? Your family. Your family. Your community. Your society. So the enemies are trying to destroy families. They are trying to destroy societies. You no longer care for each other. You no longer bother about each other. Why? When you're alone, all single, then you just do as you please. No one is there to remind you. The little pharaohs, that's what they are. The little pharaohs. The man got a bit of money now. He got a job. He got a fleet. He became arrogant. He starts instructing. It's not wrong to tell people, listen, the job starts at 8. You knock off for lunch at 1. You come back at 2. And up to 5 o'clock, you shall work. 5 o'clock, you knock off. Please, there is a little contraption. You clock your card in and you clock it out. Thank you very much. No harm. I spoke with respect. I put down my rules. I'm a little bit strict because we have a business to run. And I'm polite. And then I can tell my brother, this is warning number one. You did not attend on time. Is there any explanation you have? No explanation? Well, if this happens two more times, unfortunately, I'll have to look for someone more productive. That's hard, right? It's very hard. But guess what? It's not wrong. They didn't insult you. They only read the riot act to you. That's all. They only told you that, listen, this is work. You want to take it or leave it? Either way. But when a person becomes haughty, what do they do? They start saying, you, I employ you. Come here. Two o'clock in the morning, you got to go. Why? Because I gave you a job. My brother, I have a family. I have people. I have responsibilities. I'm working for you eight to five. You cannot call me at five past five. And if you want to, you pay me more than double because. Guess what? It's overtime and it's after hours. And that's if I can make it. If I cannot, don't feel bad. But we are little pharaohs. What happens? When you got money, you become stingy. That's what happens. When you got money, the, the stingiest of the lot are the, have, the, the people who have the most. Trust me, you have guys who have very little, they'll take out and give. You got guys who got millions, not all of them, there is an exception. There are some who are very generous. But a lot of them, the more they get, the more they cling to it. That's part of what we were told by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You stick to it when you start loving it too much. You don't want to spend Allah says, we gave you so you can spend, so that you can earn paradise. But what happens to us? We get it and we gather it. We want to amass it because I'm a millionaire. I want to be known as a billionaire. I want to be known as a trillionaire. Then when I die, they'll say the trillionaire has died. What happened to the trillions? Whatever happened, so long as they knew I was the trillionaire. But you never even spent the money. Subhanallah. You could have built a hospital in every village in your country, but you didn't. Do you know why? You just wanted to be known as a trillionaire. Had you built the hospitals, you may have not been known as a trillionaire because you spent your monies, but in the eyes of Allah, you were successful. Sadaqa jariya for you up to the end, a charity, the reward of which continues way beyond your death. 